Father, we just come before your holy throne. We ask that you forgive us of all sins we have committed against you and against those made in your image. Father, I ask right now according to your word in Psalm 34, verse 7, which says, The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and he delivers them. Father, I ask right now that you camp your angels around all of us here in this broadcast, around our loved ones, our family members, around our ministry partners, in-laws, ex-in-laws, friends, to protect us and keep us safe from any form of retaliation or attacks of the devil and his demons. And we declare Isaiah 54, 17, No weapon formed against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Welcome everyone to another live edition of our financial broadcast. Amen. So what we're going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be doing a financial test. i like to ask you right now, Okay, if you uh, if you have a dollar bill similar to this, I learned, I like to ask you any any money, you know, it can be five, can be ten, can be twenty. Can if you don't have cash, if you don't have money, it can be a coin like this. Okay, it can be anything. So what I like to do is I'm gonna do a financial test here right now, and every time I do a financial test, demons manifest, believers. This is uh, to prove to you that financial demons are real. Financial demons are real. The Bible uh, um, makes mention of the devourer. There's a devourer. He is spiritual. His name is Satan. And he has demons under, you know, his authority. Believers, what's going on out there is people losing jobs, people losing homes, people losing cars. People starving. Believers, all of these are spiritual. All, it's due, due to sin. It's due to curses. All of these are spiritual. So most people are under financial curses because they don't know any better. Okay? Uh, over 90, about 95% of the population are under financial curse. There's only less than 5% that are really doing well spiritually and financially. Okay? So there are some billionaires out there. They're doing well financially, but they're not doing well spiritually. They still have issues. They have problems. They have challenges. They have torment. But uh, it's less than 5% of those that are doing okay financially. They are not, you know, some of these people are not rich. They're not rich, but they, they have no lack. Okay? They have a roof over their heads. They are not, you know, um, facing foreclosure. It's about 5% of the population that are doing well financially and spiritually at the same time. It's only 5% believers. You can be there. Okay? You don't have to be uh, rich in order for you to be part of that 5%. All you have to do is learn to apply God's principles to your finances. The Word of God is full of uh, principles regarding finances. Uh, the Old Testament and also in the New Testament. There's a famous scripture over here from the New Testament, which is the book of Luke chapter uh, 6, verse 38. Luke chapter 6, verse 38. Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, shall men put unto your bosom. For with the measure that you measure, it will be measured back to you. That's Bible. I did not write down that. Okay, that's in the Bible. If it's there, it's because it works, believers. So most of us are in, in financial turmoil. I get emails every day from people. Oh, can you pray for me? I am uh, uh, lost my job. Well, it's not just prayer. It's going to take more than prayer. It's going to take obedience. Okay, believers. I don't think prayer will fix somebody's financial situation. If there, if there are demons eating up their money, prayer will not resolve that. Prayer will not take care of that. It's going to have to, something else has to be done. That's why people have to understand that there are principles in place. I did not establish them. God did. And God did not establish them yesterday either. Okay? God's principles, they have been in place even before uh, uh, humankind came to existence. Before, they were already established. 
Okay? Most people don't like to hear about this because they have demons robbing them and they love their devils. They love their poverty, their misery. They love losing money. They love having to, you know, pay for their bills with money that they don't have. They love taking their cars to mechanics and then to pay for, for to get a car fixed, you know, with money that they don't have. They have to borrow now. They have to go to a payday loan to get a loan in advance, a paycheck in advance to pay for the, 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 the car repair. Okay? And when you talk about the solution to them, they get mad. They get angry. It's, it's not them. It's their demons. They're full of devils. They have devils to the brim. And they listen to their devils. That's why they are poor in poverty. They keep listening to their devils. They listen to their devils from the moment that they wake up to the moment that they go to bed. And during the night while they're sleeping, they're dreaming about their devils. These people are out there, and by the way, they make the, the great part of the population, about 95%. You find them everywhere, you bump into them everywhere you go. The people that are under financial curse, you bump into them everywhere you go. You go to church, there they are. You go to hospitals, oh yeah, there they are, actually. <laughs> they like hospitals, okay? So wherever they go, wherever you go, there they are. The people that are cursed. Because they don't know any better. When, when somebody presents the solution, they get uh, angry because they listen to their devils. And, and their devils don't want them to find out about the truth because their devils want to continue to rob them and they want to continue to live in misery. Misery. Now, if you think I'm blowing air, now you that listen to your devils, you that listen to your devils every day, if you think I'm blowing air, you grab a, a bill if you happen to have one. If you, if you don't, then put air in your hand, okay? That might be what you have in your banking account is air, okay? Just put air in your hand if you don't have one of these, okay? Because the, the doctors are taking all uh, uh, CVS pharmacy, they are taking all the ones that you have, right? You have to buy, you know, medication every day, right? So CVS pharmacy demons are robbing you, right? So I don't know if you have one of these or not. And I, I, I don't recommend you borrow one either. If you don't have, you don't have. You don't have to borrow one from your brother. Don't do it. If, it, if you don't have, you don't have. Do you have one of these somewhere in your house? Or are the demons robbing you? Even these little ones, are they still robbing? Are they robbing you even these ones? Can you find one? I want to prove to you that I don't blow air, okay? You have financial demons in you, okay? I mean, not all of you. Some of you here are doing really well by now, okay? But most of you that are watching me right now, most of you have financial demons robbing you. How about that? Amen? Now you go ahead and grab a money like this, or you grab one of these, okay? And come back now, all right? Have a seat. I want you to get money, cash, okay? One of these, or one of these, either or. Put it in your hand. Close your hand, both hands. Look in my eyes. And when I, I start confronting your devils, I want you to put your hands above your head like this. One of them with money inside it. Okay? And I'm going to command your financial demons to manifest. And they are going to manifest. Amen? Are you ready? That's just to prove to you that you're, you have financial demons robbing you every single day. All right? All right. Do this. And look, you don't have to stand up. Just look in my eyes right now. Amen? All right, ready. Look in my eyes. Close your hands. Put your hands above your head. Like this. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, your word says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy and not to harm you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I now command all the financial demons now to manifest. I command you now to come up to the surface. In Jesus' mighty name, financial demons, you that have been robbing these people, manifest now. Manifest now. Manifest now. In Jesus' mighty name, manifest. 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 Now, come up to the surface. In Jesus' mighty name, come up to the surface. 
in Jesus' mighty name. Come up to the surface now and manifest in Jesus' mighty name. I'm commanding you, devils. I am commanding you, devils. You manifest right now in Jesus' mighty name. All right, believers, you're already manifesting by now. Try to open your hands right now, okay? The one that have the money in, okay? Try to open. Can you open it? If your hand is locked, don't worry about it. I'm going to command your hand to open, okay? Don't worry about it. But some of you felt dizzy. Some of you felt some strange sensation happening in you. That's to prove to you, okay, that you are manipulated by financial demons. They love to rob you every single day. They want you in misery. They want you borrowing and not paying back, okay? That's what your financial demons want you to do. I'm here to prove to you that they are inside you. Okay? Now lower your hands. You don't have... Just brought, bring your hands down. Get, try to open your hand right now. If your hand is perhaps locked right now, don't worry about it. Put your hand that is locked in front of you right now, like this. Now look in my eyes. When I command you to blow on your hand, you blow. Okay? In Jesus' mighty name... Blow on your hand right now. <sighs> open hand. In Jesus' mighty name. Demon, receive. And hand, open. In Jesus' mighty name. Take a deep breath right now. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> One more time. <sighs> Amen? All right. If your hand is still locked, one more time. Blow it on your hand right now. Hand open. Now it's open. Now I know it's open. Don't worry about it. Say amen. All right. As you are sitting down there, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to command some devils to come out of you. But if you don't, they, they may come out of you because I'm commanding them. Now, if you do not, if you do not start helping yourself right away, these devils are going to come back and there is nothing I can do about it. Okay? Because they love losers. Demons love losers. They always come back to losers. Okay? And, and you know, help yourselves. Okay? All right? I'm going to command some devils to come out right now. You can keep making eye contact with me. I'm going to command demons to come out with money. How about that? <laughs> Woo! That's a good idea. <laughs> come out. <laughs> Amen? That's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to use money to command demons to come out. Amen? Uh, how about a bigger one? Uh, if I'm going to command demons to come out, I better have something better here. Just a second. <laughs> I'm telling you, my friends, innovation. I call this innovation. <laughs> Get your devils ready right now because now they're going to freak out. Demons, do you know this? Demons, do you know this? Have you seen one of these <laughs> demons? I'm talking to you. <laughs> All right, believers. I call this innovation, okay? I never cast out demons with money before, but tonight I'm going to do it. And these devils are going to have to come out of you. Okay? Amen? Are you ready? Praise the Say praise the Lord. Say praise the Lord. Let me see which way... Should I do here? Um, just a second. This way or this way? Just a second. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Demons are demons. They'll have to come out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started right now, okay? I want you to make eye contact not with me. <laughs> I want you to make eye contact now with the money, okay? Amen? I'm going to put this right on your face, and you look into it, and your devils are going to come out of you. Or, if they really love you, they're going to manifest. They may not come out, but that's not my fault. I'm going to do my best to cast them out, but if they don't want to come out, that's in between you and the demon. You got to, you got to break that love that you have for the demon. You got to, you got to divorce that devil, okay? But I, I believe they're going to come out, okay? Amen? One more time, the Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 10 verse 19, I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome 
all the power of the enemy and nothing will harm you. The Bible says in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 17, these signs will follow those who believe in my name, they'll drive out evil spirits. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, evil spirits, I command you now to make eye contact right now with this money. I'm going to cast you out right now with money, unclean spirits. I'm going to cast you out right now with money, unclean spirits. And you have to come out, unclean spirits. And you have to come out, unclean spirits. In Jesus' mighty name, I command you now to come out. In Jesus' mighty name, I command you now to come out. Come out. Come out, financial demons. Come out, financial demons. Come out, poverty. Come out, CVS pharmacy demons. Come out now, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out now, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, evil spirits. Come out, evil spirits. Look at this money right now, devils. You love this thing, don't you? You love to rob people of this, huh? don't you? Come out now. Come out now. Come out now. Come out, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, in Jesus' mighty name. Come out, in Jesus' mighty name. Look at the money, devils. This money is anointed because it's in my hand. This money is anointed because I am holding this money in my hand. Therefore, this money is anointed. Now, devils, you cannot handle this anointing. Look at the anointing now in the money. Look at the anointing now in the money right now. Right now. Right now, devils. Right now, devils. Right now. Make eye contact now with the money right now. In Jesus' mighty name, stare at the money, devils. Stare at the money now and come out. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, come out. In Jesus' mighty name, come out. Financial demons, come out. Financial demons, come out. Poverty demons, come out. Foreclosure demons, come out. Unemployment demons, come out. In Jesus' mighty name, payday loans, come out. Payday loans, come out. Payday loans, come out. In Jesus' mighty name, payday loans, come out now. Come out now, payday loans. Come out now, payday advance. In the name of Jesus Christ, unemployment, come out. Come out right now. Come out right now. Come out right now, evil spirits. I command you now to come out, demons. I command you now to come out, demons. I command you now to come out, demons, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take your nest dirty hands off these people right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, come out. Financial demons, 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 come out. You have to come out, financial demons. 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 You have to come out right now. In Jesus' mighty name. You have to come out right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Come out. Come out. This money is anointed. This money is anointed. I am holding in my hands. This money is anointed. And because of the anointing that is in this money, you have to come out right now. You have to come out right now, financial demons. Come out now, poverty stricken. Come out, poverty stricken. Come out, credit card demons. Come out, lottery demons. Come out, gambling devils. Come out, gambling demons. Come out. Gambling demons, come out. Come out now, drug addiction devils. Come out, alcohol demons. Prostitution devils. Pornography demons. Come out now, evil spirits. Come out now, dating sites demons. Come out, dating site demons. Get out now, poverty devils. In Jesus' mighty name, unemployment come out, unemployment come out, unemployment come out. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, welfare demons come out, welfare demons come out, welfare demons come out. In Jesus' mighty name, food stamps demons come out, food stamps demons come out. In Jesus' mighty name, in Jesus' mighty name, poverty demons. Poverty demons, come out. I bind you right now, devils, with this money right now. I bind you, according to Matthew 16, 19. I restrain you, and I cast you out now. Come out now. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. People are manifesting right now, left and right. People are manifesting right now, left and right. Oh, yes, I know. 
People are manifesting now left and right because they have financial demons, because they, they, they follow the devil. They listen to demons. They listen to the devil. Come out now, evil spirits. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I bind you. I restrain you. And I cast you out now. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Say amen. All right. I'm doing my best here, okay? I only can go so far. But as long as you love your devils, as long as you continue to finance the devil's kingdom on earth, these devils are going to continue to rob you. As long as you put God in the back of the line, these devils are going to continue to destroy your life. Amen? That's the way it is. You listen to demons, they'll destroy you. You follow them, they'll kill you. That's exactly right. You got to learn to put God first in your life. Okay? Amen? Let me pray a final prayer right now. Father, I ask right now that you seal this deliverance and that you fill every empty spot vacated by unclean spirits with the presence of the Holy Spirit in everyone's bodies, minds, souls, and spirits. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. God bless you now. Have a good day, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.